I'm going to show you how to use our TI-84 on uh, computing for uh, some uh, calculus problems in the MCQs and the FRQs. So let's start with using our TI-84 in computing for uh, the definite integral. So the function is given by 5 square root of t cosine t all over 5, 9. So first you go to uh, y equals so we can define the value of our rt and plug it into y sub 1 and it's 5 square root of t cosine of t all over 5. So this is now our uh, r of t and in our ti84 it's y sub 1 and we're going to use that to uh, find the definite integral of this function from 0 to 9. So to find the definite integral using your ti84 you push math 9 math 9 and it will give you your uh, definite integral function so from 0 up until 9 of your function r of t so it's you push vars and go to y vars because we defined y sub 1 as the function r of t from our frq and now we are basically uh, using our calculator to compute for the integral of r of t from 0 to 9 so without even performing the rules of integration don't forget to push x for dx and push enter and it will compute for the definite integral from 0 to 9 of any given function and in this case it's giving us um, 37.437 using your calculator there is also a function in your TI-84 where it can calculate the derivative of a function at a given x value so here so since our y sub 1 is already our r of t and we're going to find the derivative of let's say this function so uh, push second function mode to quit and to um, find the derivative of that function at x equal to 5 so let's do math 8 and it will give us the derivative function of our ti84 so we just push x for dx and our r of t which is y sub 1 so vars y vars and y sub 1 at x equal to 5 so here it is going to compute for the uh, derivative of the function at a given x so this is how we use our ti84 to compute for the integral and the derivative of a certain function and going back to 2004 frq we are asked to find the maximum number of mosquitoes given our derivative function or the rate of change function r of t now we know in calculus that to find the critical number we need to uh, set our derivative to zero so that it will help us un answer question letter D which is asking us to find the maximum number of mosquitoes given the rate of change function so what we can do is to use our TI-84 and graph our function and see where it will intersect at the x-axis or y is equal to zero so going back to y equals we know that y sub 1 is our r of t or the de um, derivative function. What you can do is set y sub 2 equal to 0. So it, can, it will graph or your TI-84 can graph the horizontal line or the x-axis which is also y is equal to 0. So if we graph it, we'll be able to compute for the critical number without um, using a pen and paper so all we need to do is to use our TI-84 and find the point of intersection of our derivative function at the x-axis or y equals zero so if we just put our cursor on the points of intersection of the derivative function and the x-axis TI-84 is just giving us the approximated value of the point of intersection but not the actual point of intersection which we need to find our critical numbers. So to use the TI-84 to compute for the points of intersection, you just push second function trace and go to intersect or push 5 and it will ask you to uh, put your cursor on the first curve so we can 
place it on the derivative function or the blue graph and then it will automatically automatically go to the second function which is our y is equal to zero and push that as well or push enter and now our ti84 will give us the actual point of intersection of our derivative function and the x-axis which is 7.8539 so and from the 2002 frq we are given two functions e of t and l of t both of which are derivative function because they are the uh, rate of change function of people entering and leaving um, the amusement park and on letter D we are asked to find when the when the park has the maximum number of people and to be able to answer that we're going to find the critical number of our function which is the point of intersections of the two derivative functions so let's go ahead and uh, plug in our e of t and l of t into y sub 1 and y sub 2 in our ti84. Now that we have plugged in our function in our TI-84. Let's go ahead and graph our two functions and let's see what TI-84 will give us. So our TI-84 is still thinking and you will see that we are not seeing anything in our TI-84 because this particular function is out of range from the default of, um, function in our calculator. So what we can do is use the information given to us in the problem and in the problem the interval of t is from 9 through 23. So usually I always go to window and set my x minimum and x maximum according to the given. Well, it's from 9 through 23. I'm going to go ahead and put 9 to my x minimum and 23 to my maximum and then hit graph and you will see that in our calculator it's showing us the interval of our function from 9 to, uh, to 23 but the problem is we're still not seeing the graph so when this happens what you can do is go to uh, your TI-84 and push zoom and go to zoom fit and just go down using the cursor in your calculator and at zero it has zoom fit function so just push zoom fit and push enter and you will see that your calculator will finally show you where the graph is actually is in your TI-84 and now you can find the point of intersection to answer the question on letter D which is finding the maximum number of people inside the park using your derivative function so to go and find the points of intersection we will push second function trace to go to calc and go to intersect which is 5 and this is our blue graph or the blue function and the red function push enter and TI-84 will give us the actual point of intersection or point of intersection of our two uh, derivative function given in the problem which is 15.7948 and this is basically the actual or the exact point of intersection based on our TI-84 that we need in computing for the maximum number of people in the park using our critical number or the graph of or the point of intersection of your first derivative function and the other derivative function and these are some of the tricks or very helpful techniques on how to use our TI-84 in answering the second half of our MCQ or multiple choice question and the first half of our FRQ in the AP Calculus test.